Jesus, actually. Hold on. All right, that should be good. Sorry, the mic was way, way too close to my face. Uh, hello. Hello, everybody. Uh, welcome back to Goblin Inc. I am your titular goblin, and today we are back to our fucking pe our peak. We're back to our peak right now. Uh, as much as I liked Like a Dragon Ishin, I gotta be honest, I just love the Yakuza series. Uh, and I honestly could not wait to get back to it. Um, and of course, oh my god, I have... Anyway, I, I hope you all are well real quick before I start spewing off on a tangent real quick. Um, but, uh, okay, here's my, here's my gripe. Ready? This is, this is my gripe. Uh, how the fuck... Am I going to finish this series before the next one comes out? Uh, it's looking, it's looking pretty rough on that front. Uh, cause what? Like a Dragon Ga Gaiden is the next one coming out. And, uh, I, I think it comes out this year. I'm like pretty sure it comes out this year. Um, but on top of trying to finish this series... You know, we just had Resident Evil 4 come out, but we have... I'm looking right now, hold on. We have, uh... Hmm. I'm trying to look at what video games are coming out. Star Wars Jedi Survivor comes out this month, which that means I also have to finish the first one before that comes out, so that... Oh my fucking god. Okay. Um... Tears of a Kingdom, I'm excited for it. I want to play it, but I have no way to stream it right now, sadly. So I don't have to worry about that. Uh, Kill the Justice League, I don't know. The more that that game gets talked about and shit, the less I kind of want to play it. Oh, fuck, I forgot they were doing a new We Love Katamari. Like a, a, re, a redoing of it. Oh, that comes out in June, but that'll be like a one sitting game, probably. Final Fantasy 16 comes out in June. Uh... Alan Wake 2 is supposed to come out sometime this year, which I still need to play Alan Wake 1. Uh, I know the new Spider-Man game is supposed to come out this year, but honestly, I feel like that shit's going to get pushed back. The fact that we haven't seen anything for it, really. Uh, Final Fantasy VII Part Two. I still haven't played Final. Fa I haven't played it myself at all. Layers of Fear supposed to come out. I'm guessing that's gonna come out sometime around October, and I don't know what the fuck's gonna happen with Goosebumps with Goblin this year. Not that I'd like want it, cancel it or anything, because I'm not going to, but. I might have to uh, incorporate another Yakuza game into that uh, into that schedule like we did last year. Because um, here is here is my hope and my my this is this is my I will be fine as long as if this happens, and that if is we get like Gaiden can come out and we can still be behind. That's fine, but. We have to be caught up and finished Gaiden before the 8th one comes out. Because there's no way I can fucking miss that release date. That is going to be so fucking hype when that game comes out. Uh, a ridiculous amount of hype. But here we are. We're back. We're back with Kiru. My baby boy. Oh god. Now we're going to have to get used to this. What the fuck? Why do we have so many levels and we haven't spent a single thing? Is it because it's 50 every time? Yeah, I guess so. Okay. Um Dragon abilities I only learned from Majima every Oh my god, I miss these characters so fucking much. Kiru, Majima, fucking Date. Um we got uh Nishikiyama. Which I'm really excited to see how that's going to end this whole thing. Uh, 
I guess this tech. Uh, bear hug. Cannot learn this ability yet. Okay. Oh, because it's connected to here. Uh, change up your battle style immediately after evading. Put up your ga your guard again when an enemy attack. Okay. A lot of these are just uh, double finishing blow. That one's pretty good, actually. All right. Uh, fuck it. We'll just do... We'll do these. And then... I forgot how much I like this upgrade system. But honestly, I quite liked the upgrade in... The upgrade system in... Uh, Like a Dragonetian. I think on... David! Oh my god, you bright bastard. What did you just break? Hold on. Yeah, you're screaming at me because you did something wrong. Okay, sorry about that. <laughs> um, Alright, I can't afford to get a mix up with the police right now. Better keep a low profile. I gotta be honest. What the fuck? Hello? Kiryu-san. Oh, it's Nishida. From the Majima family. <sighs> Where is Majima-san waiting for me this time? No. No, this time it's different, man. The boss is in a real foul mood right now, so I just wanted to warn you. A foul mood? Yeah. If you stumble on him, he might actually rush you with his baseball bat. That sounds like every other encounter with him. Well, when he gets in one of these moods, he usually heads up to the batting center to blow off steam. If I were you, I wouldn't go anywhere near it. Got it. So you're telling me Majima-san is at the batting cages. Yeah, he is. That's all. Again, just a friendly warning. If I go to the batting center, I might find Majima-san, but apparently he's in a foul mood. I better be ready for him if I go. I have healing items, so I should be good in that regard. Uh, do we have any... Okay, we have one sub-story up here. We got two, three, four sub-stories down here. How are we doing on sub-stories? I don't even remember... Uh, sub-stories. Holy fuck. That is a lot still. I thought we were a lot higher than that. But to be fair, this is only part six. So, it's okay. Uh, I guess we'll go see Majima here. But let me fight this guy so that I can get... I mean, it's not that it's much different from Ishin, but... You know, I don't have a gun in... Well, I could have a gun in this, but I don't have, like, a permanent gun in this one, so... We don't get any funny just shooting people into their dead montages. Oh god. What do you want? I need to go check it out, but what's happening and where? What? Rubbernecker? That sounds like a weird term that I'm not gonna say again. I don't like that. Did you motherfuckers hear about this TikTok ban, by the way? I thought... So, originally when this thing got talked about, I thought this was going to be like a TikTok ban only for people who are in politics. Uh, which, I guess I don't know what that would... What that would do. But I thought that's what it was. And, um... I guess it's a TikTok ban for all of America? Which, I, I think that's fucking stupid. I mean, I, I, and I've watched some of these clips from the this court hearing. These people sound like fucking idiots. Like the people who are against it. They sound like fucking morons. 
They're like, the guy who owns it, he was like, yeah, uh, the way we promote content is we age gate. And uh, they were like, oh, well, how do you do that? And they were like, well, we ask them. And then we also look at their videos and what they like. And they were like, isn't that illegal? And it's like, he's like, no, it's it's public. Like, you post your videos. Like, that's, that's your choosing. You do that. And they're like, no, that's illegal. I'm pretty sure. And it's like, oh, my fucking God. What? All right. I don't see Majima-san around, but maybe I'll take a few swings since I'm here. Oh, okay, Majima, here I come. I'm so ready to see my baby boy yet again. Okay, I'll play. <laughs> Hell yeah. That one was embarrassing. I don't think we've been in this one because I don't remember that electronic man. Not even a little bit. Oh. Damn it. That was such a fucking like I, I would I don't want to call it a bunt, but Oh God, I've watched so much Naruto. I'm on episode uh I think 117. And uh I don't know. There is like just some shit. And I'll obviously talk about it more when I get to the review of the next bits but it just like some of it does really just feel like such filler and some of it's fun like I tweeted about there's one episode where it's like it's a joke episode about how Naruto and, and the group want to see Kakashi's face and, and Sasuke's written so weirdly in that episode, it's like, it's completely not him. Oh, I missed it. Fuck. But, uh, it's a funny episode, nonetheless. Like, I, I do like the little bits where they're thinking about what he looks like, and he looks fucking ridiculous. But, uh, it's very strange going from that to, like, jumping in. I'm going to be spoiling something for a second. But it's like going, it's weird going from that to immediately being like, oh, Sasuke's unhappy because he's, he still is just so obsessed with the revenge. So much so that he has to fucking be edgy and leave. And I know it's partly because he's cursed. Like, I know that, like, amplifies his feelings and his emotions and shit. Uh. But still. It's very weird going from that to that, personally. Normal. Where's Majima, what? Oh, well if it ain't Kiru-chan. Majima-san, so you really do come here often. It's my play spot of choice. So don't go go thinking you can just cruise in here without a care in the world. Mm. What? What's that supposed to mean? This place is special to me. I ain't about to let you or any other numb skulls trample all over it. Mm. Not something I've heard before, but... So I need your permission to use this facility. Uh. That's right. So if it's all the same to you, get the hell out. I don't feel like fighting you. Yeah. Sorry, but if that's the issue, I can't back down from it. I have memories here too, damn it. And I'm not just gonna hand them over to you. <laughs> Some rare shit when our views actually line up. But I guess it's a fight regardless. 
Gotta say, it's worthy of this place. Fine, I'll take you on. Everybody stop batting so that we can have a fight in the middle of the fucking arena. Oh. That was like a really clumsy follow-up, but... Hell yeah. Get up. Hell yeah, come on. Oh, so let's talk about the dumb shit of today. Uh, so, Dwayne The Rock Johnson, he's a guy, right? Very, uh, very, uh, he, he holds a grudge. He, uh, if someone, if someone wrongs him or he feels like he's been wronged in some way, he will never forget it and, uh, honestly, it probably ruin your life over it. But, uh, he made a video and it was released through Disney and he has announced that they are fucking making a live action Moana, a movie that came out like five years ago. The people who watch it are not even adults yet. And we're already making a fucking live action movie based off of it. So I clearly have some thoughts, right? But I wanna I wanna talk about why I think this happened, and I think it's pretty fucking reasonable. Not reasonable, but it... Oh, shit. But it makes sense to me. And I want to see if it makes sense to you guys, too. As to... This is probably why it's happening. One. Disney loves money. And will do anything to get money. And they've noticed that live-action remakes make a lot more money than animation do. Just based off of how much it costs to make animation. Versus... Uh, a live-action movie. Correct? That's just an unequivocal fact that it is cheaper and they know this. Um, Dwayne The Rock Johnson, very well liked guy. Moana fucking succeeded because of him. I like the movie's pretty good and I like Moana and stuff and I like the whole, I like the movie, but you know that it's as successful as it is because of Dwayne The Rock Johnson cuz he's just he is what he is and people love him. So, he probably went and he was like or no, maybe they even suggested it first. I don't know. I don't know who suggested it first, but there was no argument. They both saw a green in their eyes, and they went, hell yeah, let's remake a movie that we did five years ago. Fucking, why? Like, I, okay, as much as I despise a lot of these remakes, and most of them suck, there are some pretty good ones like Christopher Robin, but that's not even a remake. That's just like a live action adaption of something that they animated a long time ago that doesn't even have anything to really do with those other than it's later. And I think that one's pretty good. Um, and I don't know. I do like the live action Beauty and the Beast. I, I don't know why I like that one so much, but I do like it. Uh, I mean, I haven't seen it since it came out, so maybe if I rewatch it again, I'd be like, oh my fucking God, but... From my memory, I do like it quite a bit. And then, it's just... I get it, though, when it's, like, a movie that was made, like, 20 years ago. Like, The Lion King. It's like, yeah, The Lion King remake sucked and was not good and they shouldn't have done it. But, I understand, like, almost... Because I think it's, like, uh, what, it came out in 96 or something, right? So, it would be four... It would have been, like, 24 years old, maybe, because I think it came out in 2020. Uh, so that makes sense. Doing, like, Aladdin makes sense. All the movies from the 90s and the 80s and all that, all the stuff that's old makes sense. And it's, like, even if, if they had waited fucking, like, 10 more years or whatever, I would have totally got the Moana remake or whatever. I wouldn't have liked it. It's just like they're going to become Disney's going to become this thing 
where it's like they re they release one animated movie a year. Just one. Because they're going to have their stupid shows and their shit. So they're going to have that to work on. But it's like they're going to release one animated movie a year. And then they don't even have to release one per year. Because it's going to be that they're going to have one animated movie one year. And then the remake of another animated movie the next year. Like I, I'm telling you right now. I can totally see a Toy Story live action. I can totally... Like, I could see... N the fact that they're doing this makes me know that there is no limit. Like, they will not stop for anything. At all, ever. They will do whatever the it takes to get money. Which is fucked up and wrong. It's like, yeah, money money is good, but it's like to to uh be stingy to this. You're like liter you're like the real life corporation uh like version like uh, interpretation of like Mr. Krabs. You're like at least Mr. Krabs has like morals and boundaries and he's at least funny. But, like, god damn, dude. Just, like, chill out. Just, uh, there's so, there's so many movies. And I saw they're doing a fucking Aristocats live action movie, too. But that one, I think, is a Disney Plus exclusive. Okay, let me get past this. Er, pretty good, Kiruchan. A punch that heavy and reminded me of him. Him? Nothing of your concern. Sides, what special memories do you even have here? Nothing that reached me, that's for sure. Uh. It was a long time ago. My bro and I used to hit balls here, too. Really? Well, I guess I got no business hogging it. I won't stop you from using this place anymore. Are you sure? I don't mind. Fighting against you is always... Always blows my cares away anyway, Kiru-chan. <laughs> Alright, I'm swinging for the fences today. Gonna knock some homers out. Majima-san must have a pretty troubled past, too. He did have a brother who died. It's not over yet. We're on rank B. Alright, so we did that. But it's like... I don't know. There, there just are... A lot of movies where it's like anyway like I would never be happy with a remake almost ever usually like most of them I do not like I the only two I like really are the ones I just said and and that's two amongst the god th there must be like at least it must be in the t the tens if not the twenties of live action shit right because we have the lady and the tramp we have uh, hold on, I'm just counting on my fingers. So we have Lady and the Tramp, Aladdin, Lion King, uh, Beauty and the Beast, Christopher Robin, uh, Mulan. I know there's like a bunch of Disney Plus exclusive ones too that I don't even know. Like Lady and the Tramp was one of those, but I had only heard about that, I don't know, for some reason. Uh, I know I'm out, uh, we're gonna count, uh, Maleficent and Maleficent 2, so that's eight. Uh, we got Cinderella. We've got, uh, I know they're doing a Princess and the Frog one, I'm pretty sure. Hey, bro. Hey, Kano. Boss. So, if you don't remember, this is the guy who's like my apprentice. What are you doing here? What happened to that woman? Oh, no. Actually, that act that's exactly what I needed your help with, boss. What is it this time? I, uh, need to ask you a favor. Please, sir. Can you come with me? No questions asked. Fine. Uh. 
That's not it, but what happened? I owe you big time, boss. Let's talk somewhere else. I like how he said no questions asked and I immediately ask a question. So what is it? Why do we have to come all the way here? Well, it's about that woman I picked up earlier. Yeah? Actually, she was... <clears throat> she was the mistress of some Yakuza. <sighs> so you fell for the oldest trick in the book. This one's called the Badger Game and I told you to be careful of it. Okay, but we're past that. What can I do about it now? The Yakuza called me and said I had to wait here for them. If I have to face him alone, he's gonna fill my shoes with concrete and send me to sink into the bay. I'll bail you out this time. I guess I have no choice, I'll help him. So where is this Yakuza? He's already here. Hey, bro. Oi. Hey, Kano, didn't I tell you to come alone? How dare you try to sleep with my woman? Why don't you try and show some dignity in life, eh? Yeah, right. This was your plan from the start, wasn't it? What the hell? Listen, I was willing to come and discuss this so we can resolve things like adults. Uh -huh. But if you don't want to come to the table, that's fine by me. Ugh. So, Kano-san, you gotta pay for damages here. Fortunately, it's only gonna cost you four mil to settle this. There's no way I can pay four mil. That's so much money. Boss, please do huh? something. Boss? Who are you? Patriarch of this dumbass family? Or the dumbass family? Listen, this stupid kid is new in town. He's young, dumb, and full of cum. Can we just drop this and call it a life lesson? You gotta be kidding, fella. I'm full of cum, too. <laughs> but it's fine. After I beat you, Cloud's bloody, you'll be begging to pay for the ba damages to your hospital, man. <laughs> and since it's two of you, let's double it to eight mil. Many. Don't say I didn't warn you. Let's get him. Shit. Got him. Oh my god. I forgot about that move. That was sick. I'm gonna fucking skewer you. Hell yeah. Ah, now I remember who you are. You're the dragon of Dojima. Say, say, why don't we just let this one go, eh? I'll even throw in some free info if you don't hold it against me. And that uh, is? See, there's a ramen shop called Kuyusho Number One Star. Try ordering ramen with extra soup and a half side of rice from the manager there. He'll give you access to a secret casino that only allows regulars, but only if you say the code, you're good to go. Ain't that some great intel? Well, well, I'll be leaving now. I think we already knew that. I think we, I think we already had learned about that. You saved my life, sir. Right. Why do you get me involved in this nonsense? I'm real sorry, sir. This is to thank you for the trouble. I'd gather this money to pay that Yakuza, but it's yours. That's not money. I guess money is tricky when it comes to women. I think I'll spare the fairer sex from my masculine charms for a while. You need to start using your head. Nobody survives long in this town, falling for every scheme it throws at you. Yes, sir. Sorry. <laughs> but thanks to me, we got info on a secret casino. So everything turned out fine in the end, right? I'm off to find more lucrative ventures. See you, boss. Just was listening to that goofy-ass song. He hasn't learned a damn thing. Uh, oh 
god, there's so many buttons. Like, I was pressing triangle to just look at the fucking... Uh... Thingamajig. The, uh, map. <laughs> like Resident Evil 4 Remake. Which we finished yesterday, and goddamn... What a good game. Where is he? Oh. I will say it... Oh, it's Zombie Majima. Hell yeah. Give me John. Are you still in zombie form? If you can't talk like regular people, then there's no use trying to reason with you. But, uh... My only... And I don't even think it's a big complaint. Because everything else the game has to offer is just too good anyway. But my, my main complaint is I really think they toned down like the... They wanted to build on the gameplay and the atmosphere. And I feel like in that, they kind of lost some of the... Like they wanted to develop different aspects of the story, which is fine. But I feel like other aspects of the story that were in the original game got like left out. Uh, almost to the detriment of some characters. I feel like Krauser was... I don't know, like... I feel like even, like, I don't know. Random, like, enemies like the Regenerators had more info and, like, just storytelling about them as villains or enemies than like Salazar and Sadler did. I thought it was very odd in that regard. Um, and I didn't I didn't like that because Salazar is probably my favorite part of Resident Evil 4 just because of how funny he is. Um, and how like goofy he is. But you, and it's not like he needs, I don't need the goofiness, but you basically don't really know anything about him. Like I was saying, it's like even with that line where he's like, I am 24 years old. And it like really puts into perspective how badly the shit fucks you up. Because throughout the whole game, he looks like an old fuck. I just realized, uh, is he gonna snap my neck? He just killed me. Um, I just realized that Salazar sounds like a Spanish version of, uh, what's that guy? He, he's like the creepy guy, and he sounds like this. It kind of sounds like Ren from Ren and Stimpy a little bit, too. Stimpy, you idiot. But Ren is more, uh, loud. He is really giving me uh, a show right now with how strong he is. Nice. Shit. Come on. Oh my god. Stop. I'm trying to change my fucking style. Digital style. Digital dancing. Hey, this is fun. Ah, I see ya. Hi, Majima. He said his piece and left. I just... I can feel how dedicated he is staying in character. Sumo slapping. Oh, what do we got? We got a message. Kirisan, please be careful. You're you're in the boss's sights. He's planning to force you into a fight around what? Okay, so he's hunting me down now? I mean, we just fought. OK. 
Okay. Let us... What do we have next? We have... Where's the map? There it is. I pressed it a bunch of times and nothing happened. I guess we can go down to Public Park 3? I guess that's a good idea. I'm not sure where we're supposed to go to lay low from the cops. Oh, went th went too went too far. Yeah, I wish I didn't take as much of a break from this one as or as long at least of a break. So I'm kind of forgetting exactly what happened last time. Hmm. That kid I gave to a food a little while ago. What's he doing here? Good. Hey, kid. Oh, it's you again, mister. What are you doing standing around here? I'm waiting for my mom to pick me up. She works nearby and she picks me up when she's off. It's usually pretty late. But I'm kind of bored because there's no one to talk to. Can't blame you there. So thanks for talking to me, mister. I think this is the first time I've said a word today. Ah, really? Well, just make sure you don't talk to strangers. <laughs> yep, I know. See you later, mister. Uh. Yeah. Any kid who has to wait for their parents to pick them up is bound to be bored. Haruka seems to be she like she'd be about his age. Maybe she could keep him company here for a little while. <gasps> We're setting up a Haruka play date. Wait, do I ask him? Do I have to go back to the to the Serena? I was about to call it the Teradaya. But that's that's Ishin. <laughs> Haruka! I'm putting you in a play date, god damn it. That's what I think is so great about this game. The police might what? Wait, what? Oh. Okay. Well, I can't do that right now. The police? I can't remember. Hold on. Hold on just a moment. I just want to... I, I want to refresh her real quick. And this is... I, I realize that this is a thing. And maybe this might be useful for all of you folks back home, too. So hold on. Uh, return to title. Yes. I, I just saved, dude. Chill out. <laughs> what the? Oh, what? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Title screen. Yep. I'm pressing buttons. All right. Replay. Hold on. Uh, let's like. What? Are, what are the last few? Path of Bodies. This was after Nishikiyama left our meeting and sent all these guys to beat the shit out of me and I beat the shit out of all of them. Okay. I remember that. Suspicious coincidence. Is this in the past? Because I don't need any of the past stuff with Nishikiyama. Okay, yeah, I don't need to watch this. What explode? Like, why would the cops be coming though? Just because I beat the shit out of everyone? This is also in the past, I think. Oh yeah, this is when his sister, his her her doctor fucking just left. Yeah. Okay. All right. 
So yeah, I guess the cops would be coming just because I beat the shit out of like 90 dudes. Which is, that's fair. I don't see him at all. I heard him. I don't understand what I'm supposed to do here. someone Is this what I'm supposed to be doing? <clears throat> or are we wait, we're all done the Mesu King stuff, aren't we? Sucks. That's such a low attack. What the fuck? We have like nothing. Oh, wait. I'm looking at the wrong thing. Hold on. Okay, I really was fucking that up. Sorry. Oh, wait. Fuck it. Just do it. I don't remember how to do this. Fuck. Uh. Fuck. Come on. Oh my god. <laughs> Please. What are you doing? Oh my god. This is so annoying. Please pick blue. Yes. Jesus. This is like doing no damage. There we go. Okay. <clears throat> Did a little bit more. Fuck. The, the problem is, is if I get hit by anything right now, I'm gonna get. I'm gonna be so fucked. Oh my god. Watch me die. No, but it, one more and I'm dead. I have to get this person this this time. 
Yes. Please. Please. So competitive. <laughs> Don't let it bug you. Oh, thanks. Okay, was that the mission? I don't even know if that was the mission. Oh, I guess it was. Okay. Uh, but basically, he said, like, Wow, I had a really good time. I want to battle you guys again. Uh, I'm happy for you, Professor. Oh. Mm, thanks, mister. There. Okay, that's got to be the end of that. Right? Uh, Alright, let's do this now. Oh, what the fuck? That's cool. <laughs> You're like a fucking Terminator at that point. Oh, yes, please. Uh, yes. That's so good. That's weird. Everything just froze for a second. Like the game. Alright, I'm leaving. That was the side mission. Alright, where are you? I would fight you, but I don't know where you are. Right here? <clears throat> I guess it wasn't suspicious after all. I thought I saw it shaking, but maybe it was just the wind or something. This was on the floor, though. I guess I'll take it with me. Where are you, you motherfucker? Don't I have a thing that tells me exactly where he is? Uh... Do I need the trouble finder? <clears throat> okay. Either way, that's better. I'd like... Is it this one? What? It's not that one? Why can't I check it? You sons of bitches. Whatever. Fuck, it's just this little kid again. I can't help you. I gotta get the fuzz off me. Oh, hello. Oh, God. Okay. God, Brawler's gotten a lot better as a style. The more I play these games, the more I get an appreciation for every style. I do still stand by, though, that Majima has the best skill set, and it's a fucking shame that it's only in one game. Hey, it's this dude, uh... Yeah. Yo, Yuya. Yuya! 
I forgot, yeah, we agreed that we'd watch his girlfriend sing. Or dance. Whatever. <laughs> Might be a nice change of pace. This might be fucking awesome. Not gonna lie. <laughs> Alright. Let's get in there. Okay, then let's go in. You've told me this like four times. I hope she sucks. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. <laughs> All right, dude, that was pretty awesome. <laughs> Uh, okay. Oh, so Yeah. Oh,そうなのか。いや。俺も最初はただのファンだったんですけどね。まあ、いろいろあって。あ、もう次のこの始まりますよ。今日が初舞台の新人らしいですね。続きまして、白鳥うららの登場です。皆様、舞台に上が
公園前通りの誤解書を急がねえと Don't sit on the remote. We don't need another incident like yesterday. So that was. No, that wasn't even the main story. What the fuck? How is that not the main story? That seemed like so important. Like that was an assassination attempt on my life. Oh. God, the amount of、uh, heat is still not enough. Yeah, but so far, if I had to rank the, the upgrade systems in this game, it would go、uh, Ishin, this one, and then.、Uh, uh, fucking stupid. Zero. My favorite one out of the three, but the worst fucking upgrade system of all time. Oh, how's it hanging, handsome?、Mm -hmm. Huh? Are you talking to me?、Mm. Of course. Oh, now that I have a closer look, I can see that you're not just handsome, you're really hot. I'm Ruby. What's your name? Hadi. <laughs> Uh, Kiru. How about it? Wanna hang out for a while? I don't know. The last time I hung out with a sultry woman, I almost got robbed. Sure thing. <laughs> <laughs> you have such a sexy voice. I'm already fucking turned on. Then, shall we go? Do I make you want it, baby? Yeah. Is this a cutscene? <laughs> oh, okay. Right this way, hot stuff.、Mm -hmm. Huh? Where are we going?、Mm -hmm. Where? Oh, don't be coy, Kiru san. Heart emoji. Lead、uh. the way. <laughs> <laughs> Then let's go. Heart emoji. <laughs> Come here. Heart emoji. Maddie. Wait, this isn't. Are you a guy? Whoa.、Mm -hmm. Oh. <laughs> Wah.、Uh... I have to read it. It's in the contract. Oh, fuck. Is something wrong? Get more than you bargained for, heart emoji? Well, at least I had fun, Kiru san, heart emoji. Too stunned to even say a word, baby? Ah, <laughs>、oh, what a sad man you are, Kiru san, heart emoji. <laughs> Uh oh. Okay, so it's just it's not a transphobia thing because he's not a woman. He's just disguised as a woman so that he can. Why does he let him touch his dick at that point? Why not just steal his wallet? Like you've got it in a, in a vulnerable position, just steal his wallet. He doesn't need to touch your dick. Nice work, bruh. Another victim for the oldest trick in the book. You got his wallet, right? So you two make a habit of this.、Okay. Oh no! Don't tell me you've got some fight in you after my bro here gave you my complete pa- or gave you the complete package. Fine. I guess it's my turn to shock you then. Pulls out a gun and shoots me in the chest. <laughs> 
Oh, of course we're not fighting the one that looks like a woman. God forbid women, even people who resemble women, fight to any capacity. <laughs> I really hope that changes us at some point. Because there are just so many guys in this game. Ugh. Sis, are you okay? Sis? So you're a man and she's a woman? Uh -huh. Oh no, we just did fight a woman. Oh shit. Progressive? And what's wrong with that? Or, and what's wrong with that? You just messed with my my sister. So now it's on, jerk. Ah, uh, never mind. I shouldn't have said shit. This is fucking funny, actually. I It started out weird, and it felt like it could have gone, you know. So we did just... We just beat up a woman. In Yakuza. Come on. Oh, fuck. Come on. Oh shit. I'm trying so hard here. Oh. There we go. Jesus Christ. Uh. uh I give up. You're too much for me. I don't care what gender you are. It was trying to scam me that got you into this position. Huh? Are you listening? Uh, we're not going to apologize for being who we are. <laughs> I'm sick of guy. I'm sticking to weaker guys from now on. Huh. I really need to be less gullible. I agree, Kiru. But it's not gonna happen. Two thousand experience points. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god, we still got so many fucking sub stories. Jesus Christ. And I couldn't tell you what a single one of them is. Uh, the next one for the uh, the guy who just Yuya Majima-san. <laughs> <laughs> What's the hurry, Kiru-chan? Okay, we've, we've read all this. <laughs> Give me those fucking... Oh, okay, I wanted the pliers. I'm trying to stick you with some pliers. Asko missing. Have you show up on some flyers? Uh. Yeah, that, that was my one bar. <laughs> Bars. God, I wish I could come up with some sick bars. I think I could. Possibly. I don't know. 
No, I gotta be confident in myself. I could. Uh, if I really just sat down and did it. Because I'm really good at writing, like, poems and stuff. I always have been. At least in my personal opinion. Uh, not to toot my own horn, but you know, toot toot, motherfucker. Fuck. God damn it. Come on. He's kicking my ass so bad. Is there like a better style? Maybe I'll use Beast. Come on. Just beat his ass. Dude, he's so strong. He really does get a lot tougher. Hold on. No. No. I changed. I changed originally. Fucking bastards. That's fucked up. I pressed up several times and nothing happened. I do miss the thing in Ishin where it would tell you how much health you would get. But that's just a modern me game mechanic. I mean, not that this game didn't come out that long ago, but I feel like that's just more like accessibility is a thing that like a lot of developers try to really strive for now. And I think they try to make a game as accessible as possible without being too handholdy. God of War Ragnarok is a poor example of that because uh, they made it. It's a great game, obviously. I love the game, but uh, they made a game that's way too handholdy for a majority of it. It, it kind of ceases a little bit, it, like peters out, but it's still there in spades. I was making him fucking fall backwards, dude. No, get up. God damn it. He's, he's really, uh... Pushing my shit in, and now he's snapping my neck. I'm embarrassing myself, if I'm honest. Hold on. Oh, fuck. He's behind me. Half the battle. I don't know what that means. Maybe it's like half of the completion points things are done. Oh, my tummy is rumble. I'm hungry. I'm gonna make some lasagna tonight. I'm very excited. There we go. Man, you're starting to pack a put. Yeah, 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 yeah. We read all that. Defeat Majima 30 times. I really wish you could look at what sub stories these were going to be. <laughs> Oh. oh, excuse me. Uh, yeah, no worries. He just stole something. Oh. 
Hey. My. Buddy. 50,000 yen? Damn it, that guy was a pickpocket. Huh? My, my wallet's gone. Hasn't this already happened once, or was that in a different Good. Yakuza? Because I feel like this exact same thing has already happened. It might have even honestly happened in Ishin. Is it just a recurring mission? Hey, were you pickpocketed too? Yes. When I looked away for a second, a man bumped into me. Next thing I knew, my wallet was missing. Jeez, this town is the worst sometimes. Can you remember what the guy looked mm. like? Let's see, he was wearing glasses and a gray suit. And over that, he had on a beige coat. Glasses? Gray suit? Smelled like soup? Right. He seemed to be running towards Shikifuku Street. Got it. Leave it to me and I'll find him. <sighs> oh no, my Christmas bonus was in there. I can't allow him to victimize any more people. I'll still start looking around Shikifuku Street. She's gonna have to hold on because I've got more shit down here. So, yeah. She's gonna have to wait her turn. We got something going on inside Vincent. Uh, do I have a drink? I'll have Sky Vodka. Look at that product placement, baby. Gotta love it. I do actually genuinely like it in this game because it makes it feel more real. But um, comparing this to Naruto, clearly this is like, the storytelling is a lot better. Just like, because it's two things that com I'm consuming. Because if the filler was written in a way where the characters could be funny sometimes and it wasn't like out of place, then uh, that would totally be fine. But this game flawlessly uh, intertwines between various, like these series of games. It's serious one moment and then it's funny the next moment and it, it does it every single time. What am I looking, oh, you? No? Who? Who am I assisting here? Talk. What? I'm so confused. Okay. Uh, I guess we'll do this one for right now and then we'll come back to this. Get some fresh eyes on it. Oh, is this the explosion? They were carrying all the homeless guys out in ambulances, but they haven't found everyone in the park yet. So if someone, an explosion went off? Oh, shit. I forgot that happened. Didn't they show us this? I'm pretty sure at one point they did. Oi, <laughs> Didn't try very hard. God, curious is so cute. Oh my god. These poor fucking people. Oh, I forgot Haruka was here. I thought she was at. What? No way. Accidentally stumbled into a fucking mission, but that's fine. Here, hold on. I gotta grab a snack so fucking bad, and I do not want to miss this, obviously.
All right, I've returned. Hold on. Let me just put my headshot back on. Okay. Resume. Haruga. なにしてるんだ。私私やっぱりここにいちゃいけない気がする。え私。私が<笑> I forgot we already told her her mom died. That face was a little funny. Smoney, kill you. Yats are a gang on Rinchuda. Haruka was Sarati Gangata. Gang. Kono Machino Gurentada, Yakuza no Yabai Shoto Nanko, Hugate. Aka Shiro Aono Mitsunio, what? Matomete also take yata. So the Yakuza have basically a smaller Yakuza that are designated by colors. わからねえんだ。なら、調べつぶしにするしかねえな。俺は署で情報を集めてくる。はるかの居場所がわかるかもしれん。わかった。Alright. <coughs> Find Haruka. Alright, well now. Oh, sorry. Oh, there's two things over here. Okay. Let's go do those real quick, like. Uh, oh, excuse me, sir. Hmm? hmm? Oh, wow, look at you. I'm definitely getting some bad boy vibes out of you. Nanny. What? Bad boy? You dress like a man who's with real presence. The nonchalant Demeter, the scowl that says, don't ask me about my dark past. Badass dads. Yes, amazing. You're the very definition of a bad boy. Very, very bad. Hey, hold on a minute. What exactly are you talking hey. about? Huh? Well, I just think you look like a cool old guy. So I'm asking, what the heck is this bad boy old guy stuff you keep saying? Huh? huh? You're the poster. Boy for a badass dad yet, you know? You know what they are? Bad boys are so in right now. Uh. No, I've never heard of them. Mm. I see, you must be the kind of man who becomes a dilf without trying. What the fuck? The game acknowledges it. You just rock that na look naturally. See, the bad and bad boy is short for bad-ass dad. A middle-aged man who's dangerous yet dandy, rugged but respectable. Simply put, a cool old guy with a bit of a bad boy streak. Uh, I see. They're appearing on TV shows, magazines, even in movies. Old men who kick ass have really gotten popular recently. I never would have thought. <laughs> Me, a badass dad. How many years did I age in prison? I'm conducting interviews for a magazine and article to seek out and determine who the bad boys of Kamarucho. Mm -hmm. Wait, there's an actual criteria for that? Yes, I'm interviewing the hottest dilfs I can find and fucking sucking their fucking thumbs. Then, 
deciding whether they are truly bad boy material. Sorry, my Kiru, my Kiru kinking came out there a little bit. Some men are this ver this voice is fucking hard to do. Some men are just trying to ride the bad boy gravy train because it's trendy now, but they're not the real deal. I don't really get it, but it sounds fucking dumb. And I would definitely like to interview you. Interested? Oh Good. my god, that means I have to keep doing the voice. Me? This town has a lot of ton of bad boys roaming around the streets. Why not stop <sighs> them? Well, a lot of men on these streets aren't bad boys. They're just bad people. It's too dangerous to talk to most of them. So I wandered into the park thinking it'd be safer, and I was hoping I'd find some more fatherly types here. Uh... You came into West Park thinking it would be safe? It just fucking exploded like two minutes ago, dude. Well, if I don't do something, this story I've been working on for months will fall through, so please help me out. And besides, if you can if you turn out to be a true bad boy, you'll get a special prize. Fine. <sighs> Really, it's going to take a good chunk of your time. Is that okay? That's fine. Uh. Thank you so much. Well, for starters, can you tell me what your name and uh. age? Sure. Kazuma Kiru, 37 years old. Yeah, he is a lot older comparatively to Zero. He's what? Uh, 20 some... He's 20... Because he's 18 in that one. So he's two, ten, nineteen years, almost twenty. Thank you, Kiryu-san. Pushing forty, huh? Perfect. Well, Kiryu-san, can you tell me what your priorities are in the life as a badass mm. dad? My priorities? Uh, how are other guys mm. answering? Oh my god. Let's see. The man I interviewed earlier said he makes sure to wear his sunglasses at all times, whether it's midday or midnight. Then, huh? I wear my... Mm. That's not true. Some people say the sunglasses are the number one accessory for bad boys. <clears throat> huh. I still don't exactly understand what a bad boy is. Well, whatever. What's my number one priority these days? Let's see, lately I've had to prioritize Majima-san, though it's really not by choice. Uh, Majima-san, who's that? This guy who keeps trying to kill me. Huh? What? He's trying to kill you? Did you do something to his family or something horrible like yeah. that? Nah, it's not like that. Once upon a time I got a little stubborn with him and he kind of took a shine to me. But now when we fight, I can't afford to pull any punches, and he's everywhere. It's actually kind of annoying. Mm, uh, I don't really get it, but he sounds like a hassle. Uh. Yeah, but due to this and that, I haven't seen him for ten years. Yet, yeah, even after a decade, he never forgot me. Huh. When I think about it that way, it's not ha half bad. <laughs> I can tell that if you guys are best at friends or arch enemies. But it's a complicated relationship to only men understand. I think it's lovely. Oh, you think so? Hi. You bet. I mean, your answer doesn't really pertain to what a bad boy priorities ties in his everyday life, but... Oh, right. <laughs> it's okay. Why don't we move on to the next question? Uh, sure. Okay then, Kiru-san. My next question is... Howdy, folks. Hold on there a dang old minute. Yes? I've been listening to you kids talking about the bad boys and whatnot. And uh, you want a real man, then there's no one that beats the boss. Uh -huh. Oh, a bad boy boss man, you say? You stay put, I'll go fetch him. <sighs> Ha! <laughs>
<laughs> hey, Kiru. Getting interviewed, eh? You've sure got a lot of free time on your hands. All of a sudden. <laughs> well, she practically begged me to do it. Oh, so you're the boss. The man was talking about. I've been working on a story to find the best bad boys of Kamarucho. Ah. Oh, so you don't have to explain. I watched the whole thing. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> so, miss, do you want to interview me too? <laughs> These fucking voices. My fucking voice is killing me. That open rope, the scent of tobacco, I'm sensing an aura of badassery from you just as strong as Kiru's. Actually, you may be even badder of a bad boy than Kiru's on. What the fuck? I, <laughs> uh, you think? I don't really get it, but why do I feel slighted? Um, may I have your real name? Uh. Oh, you could just call me the florist. Donkey Kong. You could call me the florist. <laughs> the florist. Okay, well then, I'm going to continue my interview with from with the both of you. Curious on it, Mr. Uh. Florist. Yeah, yeah. Let me ask both of you, do you have an interesting bad boy story you could share? What? <laughs> something like a heroic exploit? Sure, if you have something. Mr. Flores, would you care to share first? Let's see. I was walking in town the other day when a young thug and woman tried to mug me, demanding my wallet and everything. Oh my gosh, were they targeting you for being an older man? Uh, yep, but lucky for him, my job is eavesdropping and taking candid photos, so I aired his dirty laundry on the spot. Stuff like purchase history of pornography and identity of his favorite sex worker and the most recent blowjob he fucking got. Then his little partner in crime got disgusted. Said, she said, you sick Bastard, I can't believe it. Then they started to argue and I went along on my merry way. Man, you're pretty brutal sometimes. You've got fists, I've got facts. Though to be fair, that girl was cheating on the thug with multiple, like so many, so many guys. Sometimes at the same time. Wait, can we back this up? Candid photo. Eavesdropping, what is your, what do you do? <laughs> Oh, you really want to know? Uh, no, I'm going to pretend I never heard any of that. But that incident does qualify you for a bad boy status. Okay, Kiru-san, what about uh, you? Uh, uh, Kiru, think you can beat my bad boy story? A bad boy story, let's see. Is the rampage on a funeral thing too fucked up? Oh, fuck. I don't... Uh... Ah! Not long ago, I went on a rampage at my ex-boss's funeral. No, that was the wrong answer. What? That's such a somber time. What exactly were you doing? I was falsely accused of shooting someone and got surrounded by men who were ordered to kill me. And someone I trusted told me to escape, so I had no choice. I know. Um. Sorry, sorry to butt in, but was this, was this really a funeral service? Mm -hmm. Huh? Y yeah. Uh. Okay. Okay. Mm. I guess that happens in the bizarre situation. I've been going wild and a funeral isn't. It's just. You're so fucking rude. 
Then again, based off what you already told me, you're either senseless or outright insane. Think before you act. <laughs> uh, well, that's. Huh. You just read him like a book, miss. <sighs> anyway, no matter what the reason, don't go rim. Or anyway, just don't do anything anymore. Uh. Yeah, I, I got it. Moving on. Huh? Who are you? Nanny. Is that Date san? <laughs> no fucking way. Uh what would it what is an old timey like detective or like a Hey Kiru and the florist, hey guys. Dade san, what are you doing here? Just out on a quick patrol. But what are you guys up to? I'm being interviewed as a bad boy old guy. Uh, -huh. uh come again? I know. <laughs> um, are you a friend of Kiru san's? Uh. My voice has changed three times in the past like five minutes. Yeah, this is Date san, he's a cop. Oh, a cop. I'm currently in recruiting men for a magazine. Oh, okay. We didn't. That's funny. Okay. I'm glad they, they didn't push the joke farther. Oh, no, they are. They just skipped the explanation. So you're out finding badass dads of Kamarucho, eh? Mm. Yes, older men are in... The are in right now. Tough guys with a heart of gold like Kurosan and Mr. Flores here. <laughs> Everyone from teeny boppers to grandmothers are going wild for silver foxes on silver screens. Now that you mention it, Saya was telling me just the other day all the girls are in the old guys. Saya-chan, is that your daughter? Oh. Yeah, that's right. Hey, wait a minute. Does that mean Saya's into you guys like Kiru and the florist? Mm. Yes, I think that's exactly what she's saying. Huh? <laughs> no, she can't. I do not approve. Besides, I'm the very definition of a badass dude. You guys aren't bad at all. Daddy. Uh, you're the police officer. You're the, you know. So that. Do enlighten us, Dante, or Dante son. How are you anything but a boy scout through and through? No, I'm a loose cannon cop. A maverick of the police force. I'm always taking the heat from the chief for defying orders. On top of that, I got drunk and failed to meet with my daughter the other day. Daddy. What? Does that qualify as being a bad boy? Does that qualify as being a bad boy? If that's the case, uh... I forgot my friend's birthday one time. Boy. Then check this out. I forgot my wife's anniversary. I know. Um, excuse me. If you three are trying to prove how much of a bad boy you are, this is having the opposite effect. Oh, uh oh. Our bad. <sighs> Come on. That's not be being a badass dad is all about. Standing up your daughter, forgetting your anniversary. That's more bad guy than badass. <laughs> Wipe that smirk off your face. You should never forget a friend's birthday ever, Kirusan. Uh, sorry. <laughs> She's dead now. Does that make it better? Mm -hmm. Why am I the only one that got yelled at? Good. Hey, so who among us would be the best bad boy anyway? Uh -huh. huh? Why do you ask? I think we need to decide who the best badass dad is. It's kind of important now. Sure, I'm in. <laughs> eh, bring it on. Good, then starting now, instead of just sitting around and trying to one-up each other, we back. We battle for the title of Ultimate Bad Boy. What? Excuse me, but you can't just change my story. Uh, don't be so uptight. I think it makes more sense if you ask me. <laughs> it's much more interesting, don't you think? Uh, you really think so? But I came here to interview men, not adjudicate your egos. 
Then how's, how's about this? You can continue the interview by asking us each a question. The three of us will answer the question, and he who gives the best answer will be the most get the most badass data cred. I see. That sounds fair. Don't you think? Or Don't you think, miss? Mm. Yes. I think that's a good compromise. Then it's settled. So, I really just have to do what I already planned, which was to ask you some questions and get answers. Uh. Exactly. And afterwards, you can decide which one of us is worthy of the... Yes. Hi. Works for me. Let's get to the question. I'm going to... I'm going to ask the one I've been keeping on the back burner for the end of the interview. What do you think is the most important thing to be a bad boy? Oh, the most important thing, eh? Huh, <laughs> too easy. <laughs> oh, you're pretty confident, huh? Then please, florist, go ahead and answer first. Isn't it obvious? Financial power. Financial power? You mean money? Uh. Bingo. It's human nature to gain more confidence as you acquire more capital. As self-worth grows with network, it creates an image of a respectable adult male dandyism. Having both makes you the kind of man that the girls and the boys want to be. I think I get it. Money leads to confidence, and confidence makes you dadly, dandy. So dandyism isn't just about clothes, it's the attitude of an older, more refined gentleman. And that dandyism is what makes a badass dad so cool. Is that what you're saying? Uh, exactly. So the most important thing to be a badass boy is financial power, see? It all boils down to making bank. A man with no money usually has no confidence. Just look at the homeless in purgatory. Sure, they're good guys, but badass dad's not a one of them. Mm, I guess that's true. Then you've got me. I make a ton of money underground here. Sorry guys, but I'm confident my level of raw dandyism is just too high for you two to even compete. Ugh. Mm. Flores makes a pretty convincing argument. I see, Mr. Flores. Thank you for enlighten the enlightening response to Dante san. Would you like to answer next? Oh. Uh uh sure. <laughs> <laughs> you know nothing, Flores of Sai. What? It's true that financial power is important to badass dads, no doubt about that. But as far as the most important thing goes, close but no cigar. Oh, do go on. Interesting. What are you implying, Dante-san? The most important thing to being a bad boy, that'd be to have a loving family. Uh -huh. huh? Family? What's Dante-san even talking about? Listen, what a true, cool old guy needs is the hot to love his family, and a family that loves him back. No matter how, mu uh, how much money and confidence a man might have, it's all for nothing if there's no one to share it with. A boy can only become a real grown man when he has a partner to care for and a family to protect. I see. So a guy without a loving family is only half a man. Compared to a real bad boy, he'd be out of his league. In that respect, I've got a wife and a daughter to protect. But how about you, Kiru? Daddy. What? Well, I... <laughs> <laughs> you've got street cred, but you've never been married. Without domestic experience, Junior, it's too early to call yourself a badass dad. Mm. But lots of dandy men aren't married. Huh? What? There's a ton of bachelors out there charming all kinds of women, and they've still got some real swagger to them. Mm. So I don't think a badass dad necessarily has to be married with children. She's right, and you're talking like you're some kind of respectable family man, but until recently, you weren't getting along with your wife or daughter at all. Yeah. Well, uh, that was because... Huh. I guess I'm the clear winner here. <laughs> it looks like the florist has the lead, lead. At least for now. You're up, Kirisan. Do you have a better answer? Uh, sure. The most important thing for a bad boy is... Oh my god. I 
I have no clue. I'm just gonna be honest here. I have no clue. Uh -huh. Huh? Sorry, but I still don't get what a bad boy actually is. So there's no way I'd know what's most important to them. <laughs> oh, so I've wasted all my time interviewing you. You're gonna take the who cares attitude now? Eh, sounds like you've given up on this winning battle. Yeah, it's safe to say that Kiro is forfeited. <clears throat> yes, that's true. He's out. Huh? Hey, wait. <clears throat> Damn, I guess it wasn't a good idea to be honest. Well, thank you for answering everyone. All that's left is for you to declare which one of us is worth be calling the <coughs> ultimate bad boy. Yes, mm -hmm. let me make the announcement. Gulp. Drum roll, please. The ultimate bad boy is... The florist. <laughs> Nailed it. Huh? What? Why, damn it. I think the florist answers was the coolest right on the money. Damn, that sucks, but it is what it is. And I actually have a special prize for the florist. Oh, thanks. Aw, oh, we didn't get a special prize. Forever a cool old guy, eh? I'll try to keep it up. <laughs> oh, I'm sure you'll just do dandy. Well, please excuse me. Yep. See you around. God damn it. I'm sure it was my natural magnetism and dandyism that drew in the Lady of Purgatory in the first place. Maybe two farts could learn a thing or two from me, huh? Who knows, you could end up more more popular with the ladies. Damn. Yeah, whatever, Floris of Psy. Come on with that. Yeah, whatever. <sighs> anyway, I need to get back to the station. Uh. Yeah. Badass dads and cool old dudes are in, huh? Huh. Maybe I should check out a men's magazine and see what all the fuss is about. That's... Kiru's so gay. And I love it. Thank God that gave us a lot of experience points. Alright, let's, let's do some more training if we can here. I would like to. I can't remember what his voice was. My prize pupil, are you here for your next session? I do not. Where do I get a wooden katana uh. from again? Hold on, wooden katana. Yakuza, keep with me. Uh, uh, uh. You can buy one from the pawn shop. Okay. I will be back. Let's like actually make a straight beeline real quick for the pawn shop so that at least if we buy it, like we don't have to come straight back, but at least if we buy it, it will be had for the next time we are here. Which will be at some point, so. Uh, pawn shop is down here. Yes. What do we have going on here? I mean, I don't know. I can talk to as many people as I want. It doesn't seem like it's doing anything, so... Hey, old man, give me all your money. A shakedown? You must think I'm an easy target. You better drop the cool guy act before I beat it out of you. Okay.
What? Why is there two of you now? Oh, hi, Majima. That's why this happened. Break it down. Oh my god, he's he's got so much health. Fuck. Fuck you, Goro Majima. I'll beat your ass. Slowly but surely, I'm getting there. You best believe it. Fuck. Hold on. Just a moment. Uh, is there anything I can learn that would help specifically? Okay, we've got this. That one's pretty good. pretty good uh, rally from a damaged side by weaving yeah I like that. All right. We're slowly running out of healing items here. And I feel like this fight is gonna take a lot. Jesus Christ, dude. Oh my god. He, he is so fast. Fuck. God damn it. Die. Okay. We're down one health bar. Fuck. Come on. These fights are getting so long now. Fucking absolutely ridiculous. But it's awesome. I, I actually quite like it. I imagine I'm not going to be saying that when we get to like the last one and it's going to be like fucking 13,000 health bars. Thank God. I wish that would have done more, but that's okay. Can't win them all. I'm stuck. He corner trapped me. He literally corner trapped me. You motherfucker. You motherfucker, stop. Hey, 
What the fuck? Did someone just throw cola on his head? Did you guys see that? Can I use a weapon? Hold on, hold on, Majima. Jesus Christ. How is he kicking through a fucking lightsaber? This is not doing a lot of damage. I can't even... Oh my god, I can't even move. There we go. Nice. Hell yeah. Big one. Big one. Big one. It's gotta be. No, that wasn't as big as I would have liked it to be. I'm still kicking his ass though right now. Oh, you slick motherfucker. <laughs> That's awesome. We're like a fucking Dragon Ball fight. Oh, what? I pressed triangle. Oh shit. Come on, he's almost there. Fuck! I'm trying so hard. Fuck! Get him! Get him! Jesus Christ, no! Okay, wait him out. Bitch! Oh, fuck! No! No! no. Come on! Get him! Get him! Get him! I'm button mashing right now. I'm fearful. No, you can't do that. You can't do that. Come on. Yes. Fucking top that, bitch. Okay. Okay, I lose. Come on. Why did I have to fight you on top of everyone else? Oh, yeah. We already read this. Because we did this once. I guess I shouldn't have an unexpected expected fight to be safe from Majima san. There we go. Okay, that's a fair bit. I was gonna bitch if that was gonna be like a little bit of an upgrade and not like a lot of bit of an upgrade. Keep upgrading that health, baby. I should go buy some health items. That is what I should do. For sure, for sure. Something going on at the children's park. Oh, there's still so much. I thought the pickpocket came this way. Hmm. 
A bunch of guys over here are wearing the same outfit. I need to remember the pickpocket's description. It's definitely not this guy. Uh, I don't think it's that guy. It's this guy. Right? Accuse him. Hey, you're the pickpocket. Give me back my money. Um. Ah, uh, so you have seen through my special stealth technique. I can't see the tree from the forest ability. <laughs> huh. Hiding in plain sight is kind of obvious. <laughs> but I have no intention of giving you back the money so Good. easily. I'm going to have to fight all of them. Now you will face the secret art of assassination passed down to me from my father from generations of master thieves. Oh shit, all right, bitch. Hold the fucking phone. Uh, I want to get rid of this. Just remove that. Uh, and then I want to look at what I want to look at. Uh, there's something I wanted to look at. I don't remember. There we go. Nice. Beat his ass. Come on. Nice. So, your father was also a pickpocket. Uh, I'm really sorry. I won't do this anymore, I swear. I'm gonna get out of this business, so please forgive me. I got 70,000 yen. And you'll return the money to your other victims? Yes, of course. Right away. Okay, bye. I love how simple that is. I should send a message to the pickpockets of Kamarucho. Thousand experience. That's nothing. It's bit shit. Faking like you got it in your pocket. Yeah, that's bit shit. Okay, let's get it. Bitch, let's get it. Got a plan. We gonna kill this man. The gun won't jam. It's on on site. Four, four, five. I might get life. It's on my life. Okay, let's get it. Okay, so let's get it. See no flaws in my purest form. Bitch, I'm greedy. Ah. What a great fucking song. Two door cope. <laughs> Schoolboy Q is one of those rappers. Hey, you. He's one of those rappers that, uh, he's so good when he features on most of the time, but I think most of his, like, regular music. Is not that good. Like collard greens. Uh, I mean, I, I, I guess, uh, what is that one called that I was just, uh, I can't even remember what the fuck it's called for some reason. I can remember the, the picture. It's him. It's such an, I, I think it's an iconic fucking image. It's him leaning out the car with the paint wheel. It's so good. Huh? You talking to oh. me? Yeah. Got some time you can spare? Not exactly, but what do you need? Just looking for someone to lend me an ear. Come on over, sit. Have a drink. Sure, why not? Uh. <laughs> All right. 
So, you want something? <laughs> sure do. I've been asking everyone who comes through this place. Got a small favor to ask. If this is some kind of scam, I'm not interested. Just hear me out. You won't have to he have a 2,000... You don't happen to have a 2,000 yen bill, do you? Mm -hmm. A 2,000 yen bill? No, I don't. Is there even such a thing? Seriously? We're already at the point where people don't know they exist? Sorry, I'm not exactly up to speed on my current events. Oh, were you living abroad or something? Something like that. Well, then I guess you get a pass. A 2,000 yen bill is a new bill issued in this year, in the year 2000. The treasury issued it to commemorate the ok Okinawa summit. It even got a little more buzz because the two on the bill resembled the American $20 bill. Five years ago, huh? That would explain why I don't know about it. But a 2,000 yen bill? Just because it's the year 2000, that sounds a pretty lame. Anyway, what about it? I'm a collector, you see, and my collection is currency from various countries. So naturally, I wanted to add the 2,000 yen bill to my collection, but there's a problem. The government didn't actually issue it as a commemorative bill. If it was going into the wide circulation, I figured I could get it any time, so I wasn't exactly making an effort. Yeah, I guess at that point, it'd be no different than collecting a 1,000 or 5,000 yen bill. Uh... Exactly, but the problem is this 2,000 yen bill is disappearing from circulation at an alarming rate. Mm. That's weird. Money just changes hand from one guy to the next. Why would the bill start disappearing? I don't know what's going on, but the bill has practically become phantom currency. As a collector, I can't stand for this. Uh. I've been deciding to collect them on my own, but I'm having a really rough go of it, so I was hoping I could recruit some help. I see. I get what you're saying. But I don't know what... I can really do to help. True. Perhaps you're right. But there is, if there was someone helping me, it would sure go faster. And I would, of course, com compensate you for your trouble. For every 2,000 yen bill you bring me, I'll pay you 20,000 yen. That's a pretty go good deal, isn't it? <clears throat> so 2,000 becomes 20,000? I can't argue with that, but is it really worth that to you? Uh, hold on. Just because the numbers of the bill tell you what it is, it's worth, that doesn't mean it can't be worth more. Besides, each and every dollar has a history of its own. Well, this guy could have really fucked me over not giving me any money, but he was, he's, he's being a real ass dude. Um, so that's how you see it. Indeed it is. If you find a 2,000 yen bill somewhere, can you bring it to me? My collection is going to need five of them specifically. Uh. Five, huh? Okay, if I can find one, I'll bring it to you. <laughs> huh. Thanks a lot. I, w I should probably introduce myself. My name is Ta uh, Takanashi. Takanashi. What's yours? Kiru. Kiruchan, huh? All right, consider it memorized. Got it memorized? Thanks for searching for those 2,000 yen bills. Uh. No problem. All right, I have no clue where I'm going to find these 2,000 yen bill. Where is he? I don't know if I really want to fight him right now. There's got to be somewhere here that needs help. Maybe I have to wait until this is gone. 
because this is like an, a, an event thing that's taking up that space. Okay, I gotta go to the pawn shop and the drugstore. Excuse me. Uh, where's the drugstore? Drugstore, okay. Please avoid. Please avoid. Please avoid. Please avoid. Keep going, keep going, keep going. No. Who? What? Oh, hi, Majima. Oh, god damn it. You have so much health. Get up. Come on. Fuck. Get up. Get over here. Stop fucking jumping around like that. Hold on, give me that sign. Fuck. I can't dodge that well. Like, why can he dodge so well? Like, I'm trying so hard and it just, none of it works. Fuck. I was trying to go to the drugstore, goddammit. Alright. Bitch, smack him around a little bit, please. Okay. Just a moment. We both missed there. Damn it. It is cool that he can do special moves on me, though. It, like, always sucks when it happens, but it is cool. Fuck. Punchback move is so good. Fuck. Come on, dude. Oh, that for some reason didn't do a lot.
stay in some damn car. Yeah. Yeah, we've, we've already read this one, too. Right here, right? Yes. Give me drug, please. I want Hell yeah Just wondering if, uh, okay. Pawn shop is down here. Let's go to that real quick. Pawn shop, here I come. 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 All right, let's get this uh, wooden katana. Thank you. Appreciates it. Whoa. Is there more here? Okay, hold on. I don't want to do more of that just yet. What the fuck? Okay. Did I miss it? Was it that guy running? Blood eye? Sick. You, 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 you. Move it out of my goddamn way. Oh, you think you've got me cornered now, huh? Many. What? Well, I'm not going down without a fight. Huh? You seem confused. 
You've got to forget you ever saw me. Wow. Dude, come on. You can't step up to me and then give me that. Like, come on. Damn, you're no ordinary heavy. Who the hell are you? You just picked a fight with me for no reason at all because I still have no idea what's going on here. Mm -hmm. Wait, are you Kiru of the Dozuma family? Have we met? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you're more infamous than you think. But if, you, if that's the case... You're not the guy trying to hunt me down. You're on the run? Yeah, the family I just left is on my trail. I took one look at you and figured you must have been one of them. Hold on. Oh. Yeah, sorry about that. Here. This is for the trouble I've caused. Keep it. Hey, J5. I better get moving. The longer you're involved with me, the more trouble you're in. Where will you go? Leaving the Yakuza is no joke. <laughs> Right, every day I stay alive is a blessing. Anyway, good luck, Dragon of Dojima. You're a goddamn legend. Uh, I guess we'll go in here now. King. Battle seriously with Professor. Huh, well, can I battle you in a serious match, Professor? <laughs> Alright, let's do it. Battle for the throne, baby. What is he good at? I think this goes well. Skip. 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 Uh. Come on. Fuck. What the fuck? Okay, uh, this. I don't fucking know, man. Okay. Yes! Uh, 
I mean, even if I get another tie. Hey, I'll take it. Nice. I am the Mesu King King. Throne of the Mesu King, baby. I, I didn't think I could lose. I didn't think I could win, to be honest. It frustrates me that I lost, but part of me feels happy to think that there could be even stronger players yet to be discovered. Hmm. <laughs> hey, mister. Take a look at this. Mm -hmm. Huh? This is the card I got right before our battle, mister. Is that card? Oh. Yep, it is. This is the same card as the one you found for me when we first met. Uh. That's right, I remember. I've always wanted you to have this card so we can both have one, mister. Please take it. Hell yeah. Let's stay friends and play again soon, Mr. Mesu King. Uh. Sure, I look forward to it. I can always use more Mesu King. <laughs> I think I have a new amazing de deck to outwit you, mister. Wit, wit you. Outwit? Yeah, outwit. Oh, Himi-chan. You can't be playing Mesu King all of the time. There is a lot of school work to do, too. Hi. Yes. Oh, Mr. Mesu King, battle with me. No, -uh, I'm going to have a Mr. Give me a lesson first. I want to see how he uses his bees. Hey, Tomohiro, this is the card you wanted, right? I already have one, so I brought you an extra one to have. Professor, I wanted to tell you about the deck I want to play. Hey, Professor, I'm here to play. Everyone? <laughs> all right. Today's Let's All Play Mesu King. Yeah! To think that such a wholesome children's game could exist. Battle Bug Beauties, Mesu King. Thank you. You busty babes. Thank you. 30,000? That's a whole, like, three levels. To be fair, it's an accumulation of a lot of missions being done. To be fair. Miss Kingu. Alright, I think we're gonna do one more and then I'm gonna wrap it up for the night. Because, uh, I have to make dinner and I need to shower and all that so we'll see what's going on here oh shit this is bad <laughs> how did it get this far shit let's get out of here oh. what are you doing we gotta go now ah. huh what was that all about mm -hmm. <gasps> Boy. hey are you okay? He's dead. Those two must have mugged him and then... He's clearly pretty beaten and his wallet's gone. Oh, God. Oh, he's getting a call on his cell. Oh, we have to answer it. Fuck, I don't want to. The cops are going to think we did something. It's probably a friend calling. I need to know that his, his loved ones know that this man was killed. I'll do dark. What? Hold on a second. He hung up on me. What was that call even about? Huh? Whoops, I must have accidentally brought that man's phone with me. What? It's probably a friend calling. I need to let his loved ones know that this man was killed. There's a bar on the east side of the Marion Tower. The one where the owner got murdered. You'll find a woman standing there in that front of that bar. Get a locker key from her. This shady guy again? What? 
Hey. This isn't my cell. Hold on, this isn't even my cell. I found it. Uh -huh. This is no time for you. Yeah, you know, I got that it. Damn, he hung up on me again. So I need to get a locker key from a lady standing in front of a bar near Millennium Tower. Where is this taking me? That poor fucking kid's still sitting there. Fuck. Blood eyes. These guys look like such like two early two thousand punks. Hell yeah. Fuck. Healing up. Davy? David. Hey. Stop. He's standing up. No. This is a nightmare. He was standing on his two legs. Like a human. I hated that. What the fuck? Don't ever do that again, Davy. You sick son of a bitch. David! No, I will come get you. No, you cannot do that. You cannot do that. You know what? I'll be right back. I'm gonna fucking take care of the trash. All right, I've returned. <clears throat> okay. Uh, let's see. Yeah, let's do that. We had one that was. We'll get bear hug. All right. Um. Boost attack damage. That's fucking sick. Oh! Did you actually see how much more damage I was doing there? That was sick. Hey, you. What? Your face really pisses me off. I kind of want to punch it. Okay. Oh, of course. No. I don't have the energy. I just want to do a side mission. 
I mean, this is technically doing a side mission because we will complete this before we move on. That's the hard part about doing these games is I just don't want to just straight line them. I want to do everything because I love every aspect of these games. Come on. Get up, get up, fuck. That bike. Fuck. Uh, shit. Fuck you, Majima, you son of a bitch. Okay. Just wanted to get it up there. Fuck! I thought I did that because I pressed. Ah, that's frustrating. <laughs> what the fuck? That was like so perfectly timed. There we go. right there. He's right fucking there. I'm having lasagna tonight. I'm very excited. I love lasagna. Sadly, not a homemade lasagna because I don't have time for that, but lasagna is lasagna. Yes, 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 yes. I am aware. We're almost a rank A. We're doing so good. You know what? We're not go doing good on ending this stream. It's never gonna happen. No! No! Go away! Please, I don't want to do this!
Fuck. Nice. I wonder why they decided not to do Kiwamis for the other, the rest of the old Yakuza games and decided to remaster them. I guess because they just were a lot more recent. But I think that's an interesting decision. I guess, yeah, it's just the most cost efficient, probably. Bowling alley. Please just be bowling with Majima or something. I spy with my one eye a Kiru chan. Oh, great. <laughs> Majima san. I've been looking for you, Kiru chan. Time to throw down. This is stupid, Majima-san. I came here to bull, not to have another pointless fight against you. I ain't stupid. You are. I know why you're really here, Kiru-chan. I've seen the way you use bowling balls in your fighting styles. What? No, I don't... Really? Yeah. Really? And I'm not about to fight you over some lie. Fine, then. Sounds like it's gonna have to be a bowling battle. You can't turn that down, right? Sure, we can get in a few frames. Yes. Beat Majima to bowling. <laughs> Why is Chris... Oh, because this is based around Chris... That's so weird. I shouldn't have done that. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. I just should have aimed it. I just should have aimed it true. I just should have kept it. Fuck. Shut your fucking mouth. You slut. Hmm. <laughs> I uh, hear, hold on. I'll be right back.
All right, I'm back. I'm so sorry about that. Tippy had an accident, so I had to deal with that. All right, Majima, go ahead and bull. I should have let him go and just let it sit there for a minute instead. It's a good. Oh, that's the oven. Nah, yeah. Well, shit. Why couldn't I have done that when I was cleaning? Whatever. Let, I'll finish this stupid fucking. No, I don't want to quit. No way. Yeah, I was gonna say. Nah, yeah. Yeah, you didn't get a fucking spare Majima. Oh shit. Oh my god, it needed a threefer on that one. God damn, that was a bad bull. Not very good at all. I might get another spare though. Oh, I needed to. I miss. I miss judging those so hard. Fuck. He might get ahead of me right now if he gets a strike and or a spare. Or no. If he gets a strike, he will. Motherfucker. Oh, this is me. Oh, that's me. No, I. I uh, I didn't realize until it was too late. Hmm. It's gonna be an eight. Oh, it's a. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Please, I have to be Majima. Please. I have to beat Majima. Oh. Oh, God, I hate how fast that is. You've gotta be fucking kidding me. Oh, you son of a bitch. <laughs> uh, I lost. What's the matter? Got the sudden urge to take a crack at me with bullying? Why would I even think of that? Besides, a bullying battle has to be settled in the lanes. Boring, but fine, fine. Anytime you want to face me, I'll be here on my form. Working on my form. That didn't go up at all. Don't try to lie to me. There, we did six sub stories today. I think that's pretty good. So we're gonna save it here. And we're gonna call it a night. Um tomorrow I don't know. We'll see. Uh but I appreciate all of you. And I uh, will see you the next time. Bye-bye.